Hello friends, welcome to Kurt Bergman's Baseball World. Today we are continuing our 2001 Milwaukee Brewers replay using deep drive baseball, which I'm having a lot of fun with, both on the channel and off channel. We are up to game number six since we last left our intrepid heroes. They have run off a streak and are currently four and one, five games into this season. So the date is April 7th, 2001. And the Cincinnati Reds are visiting Miller Park, the first team to do so in the history of Miller Park. Uh, and <clears throat> this starts the Brewers' first home stand of the season. Yesterday's game, which was not online, uh, played it offline, uh, was a victory for the Brewers um, by a score of seven to one. Highlighted by six Brewer home runs, all of them solo shots, which tells you just about everything you need to know about the 2001 Brewer season. Uh, this is Deep Drive Baseball, a game that you may or may not be familiar with. I'm going to put the link to Deep Drive uh, in the description for this video. Also in the description for this video will be a link to find out more about channel membership with channel membership you get discounts on my secondary store you get a free gift from me every month in the form of pdfs that i create and not only that but you get members only exclusive videos and archive that is growing by the week so let's get to today's starting lineups it's going to be pete harnish on the mound for the reds against Jamie Wright for the Brewers. Deep drive baseball. Here are your lineups. For the visiting Cincinnati Reds, Barry Larkin will lead off at shortstop. Michael Tucker will bat second in center field. You can see there's some transactions that take place later in the year. Uh, I'm using the as-played lineups, my friends, because if I don't, heads explode all over this great land of ours. Uh, Dimitri Young will bat third and play left field. Sean Casey bats fourth. He'll play first base. Alex Ochoa, another Red who was launched during the year, will bat fifth and play right field. Aaron Boone will bat sixth and play third base. Juan Castro is going to be the second baseman today. He'll bat seventh. Jason LaRue will bat eighth and do the catching. On the mound, it's Pete Harnish. And... I have his card here somewhere. Here it is. In 2001, he was 34 years old. He had a 1-3 record with a 6.37 earned run average in seven games, 35 innings pitched, and a whip of 1.84. So you like the Brewers' chances at least to get this one started today. We'll see what happens. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. For the Brewer lineup, it's Ronnie Belliard leading off at second. Tyler Houston batting second at third base. <clears throat> Jeff Jenkins, excuse me, <clears throat> bats third in left field. Richie Sexton bats fourth. He'll play first base. Jeremy Burnitz bats fifth. He'll play right field. Jeffrey Hammonds bats sixth. He'll be in center. Jose Hernandez bats seventh. He'll play short. And Henry Blanco bats eighth. He will catch. Jamie Wright is on the mound. For the Brew Crew... He was 26 years old in 2001. 11 and 12 was his mark, a 490 ERA and 33 starts and 194 innings of work. So those are your lineups for today's game. Here are your dice. We're going to read the red die first. It's a tens die, which I use every once in a while. So you can see 10, 50, 70, 30, 90, and so on. And then our ones die, our ones digit will be the white die, and the modifier die will be the green one. It's also a D10. These are both D10s. If you see a 10, this will be a zero, so that one you don't have to worry about it. But if you see a 10 on the green die, I'm reading that as a zero. All right, here we go with Jamie Wright making the first pitch of the day to Barry Larkin, and that's going to be a 38 which will be on Larkin's card in the outrange. The zero is going to be a line drive caught by Richie Sexton, and there's one out. We are underway in the first. 
Michael Tucker comes up now. And that's going to be an 0-2, which is a deep drive. So we're going to re-roll on Tucker's deep drive chart. It's a 90, which will be in the ballpark effect range. Here's Miller Park. That's an 8 for our modifier. And that's hit deep to center. Jeffrey Hammond's on the run, and he's going to make the catch on the warning track for out number two. And Demetri Young will come up now with two outs and nobody aboard in the first. For Cincinnati, right kicks and deals. That's a 97. That's in Jamie's outrange. A 7 is hit to right. Jeremy Burnett's over by the line is going to make the catch, and that retires the Reds in inning number one. So we give right a... Mark for, or a deduction, I guess you'd say, for endurance. He finished an inning. And so I'm going to keep track of these down here, below right and below harness. You'll see the tally marks as we go. All right, so it's harness facing Belliard in the Brewer first. That's an 84, which is in Harnish's outrange. That is hit to center and deep. Back goes Michael Tucker, and he's going to make the catch for out number one. Tyler Houston coming up now. Harnish kicks and deals. It's a 63. And a base hit for Tyler Houston. That goes to right field. So that will be collected by Alex Ochoa, and he throws it back in. Because Ochoa can't wait. I <laughs> get it. It's like Ochoa can't wait. Except it's Ochoa can't wait. Ha ha ha. All right. Jeff Jenkins with one out and one on. Harnish the stretch and the delivery. That is a 66 uh, for Jenks. And that's ball four. Two on now for the Brewers in the bottom of the first with only one out. And Richie Sexton coming up. Harnish dealing with some first inning issues. The pitch. A 22 and high struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Two down in the first and Bernie's coming up. Jeremy Burnitz. Harnish the stretch, the pitch. It's an 82. It's going to be in his outrange. Hit on the ground, Aaron Boone to his left. He gloves it and fires across the diamond to Sean Casey. And that's going to retire the Brewers in inning number one. So we give Harnish a mark here. And the Brewers a zero in the first. Talk about stamina for a minute. Uh, Harnish has nine stamina points. And Jamie Wright has 10. So we're going to keep track of those as we go along. Bad things happen if you pitch after your stamina is used up, but sometimes it's worth it. So we'll see how things go here today. I'll explain as we get closer to using up the stamina. Casey, Ochoa, and Boone in the red second. Right kicks and deals. That's a 70, and hey, struck him out on a bender. The Jamie Wright special is that curveball. Casey swung right through it, and there's one down. The pitch to Alex Ochoa is a 33. That's going to be an Ochoa's outrange. A three is hit on the ground to Sexton. He's going to charge hard, grab it, and tag Ochoa running by for out number two. And Aaron Boone now. Right kicks and deals. That's a 21 for Boone. And hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley with a little bit of nacho cheese. Guess We've played an inning and a half and there's no score in Milwaukee at the brand spanking new Miller Park. None of this American family field stuff. We got Hammonds, Hernandez, and Blanco, 6, 7, 8, coming up in the Brewer half of inning number two. I'm going to give Wright another stamina point. 
And here we go from Harness to Hammonds. That's uh, going to be in Jeffrey's Deep Drive range. And a 67 is hit to left field. It's going to go down the line and rattle around in the corner. Demetri Young has to go dig it out of there. And don't you wish you could see this one in action. Hammonds around first, heading to second with a leadoff double. Jose Hernandez now. Harnish the stretch. The delivery to Jose is a 0-6. That's going to be a base hit. So now we're on the runner advancement chart for base hits. Hammond's speed is slow. S. So we'll see what that means. A 0-6 is a single plus. But he is slow, so we can advance with a question mark. But we're going to put up the stop sign with nobody out. We don't want to make the first out at home. So it's Brewers at the corners now for Henry Blanco. Harness the stretch, the delivery to Henry. They're going to play a double play depth. It's an 81. That's in Harness's outrange. And that's hit to center and deep. It's going to drive Tucker back. Uh, F8D is right here running home. He is slow, uh, but Hammonds is going to tag and come on home. Blanco got it far enough for the sacrifice fly, and it's one nothing Milwaukee. Jose Hernandez holds it first. Jamie Wright is up, and we're going to see a sacrifice bunt here for Mr. Wright. Harness the stretch. The delivery to Wright is a single so we look here we're gonna roll our six very fast batter safe on an infield single and runners advance a base otherwise sacrifice hit jamie wright i am reasonably certain is not very fast oh he's fast though but he's not very fast so that means that first baseman sean casey is gonna glove it and flip to Castro covering for the successful sacrifice as Jose Hernandez moves to second base with two outs. And now it's Ronnie Belliard. Brewers looking to extend the lead. It's one nothing. We're in the bottom of the first. Harnish the stretch and the delivery. 83 is in Harnish's outrange. A five is hit on the ground to Castro. To his left, he gloves it and throws to Sean Casey. And that's going to retire the Brewers in inning number two, they get a run on a couple of hits and leave one. So, a couple things happen. Harnish finishes an inning, so he gets a point there. But also, he goes through the order the first time. He gets a point for that. And not only that, but he gives up his first run. He gets a point for that. So, he's using up his nine endurance points <laughs> quickly. We go to the third, and it's one nothing Milwaukee. Jason Castro, or I'm sorry, Juan Castro, Jason LaRue, and Pete Harnish, the seven, eight, nine batters in Cincinnati's order coming up in the third inning. Jamie Wright kicks and deals. It's a 55, and that's going to be a base hit to left field for Juan Castro, the first of the day for the Reds. And if I can make my fingers work properly, Jason LaRue is going to come up to the plate. Double play depth for the Brewer infield. The pitch is a 0-3. That's going to be a deep drive on LaRue's deep drive chart. And a 29 is going to be to center and deep. Back goes Jeffrey Hammonds, and this one is gone. A 2-1, two-run home run. For Jason LaRue and it's 2-1 Reds. He got a hanging breaking ball from Jamie Wright who threw more than a couple of those in his career. I can tell you because I was watching. And the Reds get a 2-1 lead here in the third. Pete Harnish is up now. His batting card is uh, an F. There it is. 
And so that tells us we're gonna use this chart down here, the F chart. Right wines and deals, that's a zero six. Hey, struck him out. Baked beans, gas. Harness looked bad on that one and it's gonna be Larkin now with one out and nobody on for the Reds here in the third. Right kicks and deals, that's a 90 in his outrange. The eight is hitting the air to center. Jeffrey Hammond's on the run into left center and he's gonna make the catch for out number two. Michael Tucker comes up now. He's 0 for 1. Right kicks and deals. That's a 94. It's also in his out range. The 3 is hit on the ground to Tyler Houston, who gloves it by the third base bag and fires to Richie Sexton to close out the Reds' third inning. But they get two on a couple of hits. And so now we'll do our deductions for Jamie Wright. He goes through the order the first time. He finishes an inning, and he gives up his first run. So we're up to date now on endurance points, and Harnish comes out to face Houston, Jenkins, and Sexton in the Brewer third. 2-1 Cincinnati. The pitch from Harnish is an 18. And hey, struck out Houston. We have a problem. One down in the third, Jenkins. Harnish kicks and deals. 22. Hey, struck out Jenkins on a bender. Three strikeouts for Harnish. Look at him. And Sexton comes up now, looking for something he can drive with two outs, 45 bombs on the 2001 season for Richie. The pitch from Harnish is a 92. And that's to center and deep. Did he get it? Back goes Michael Tucker. Warning track and no further. That will do it for the Brewers in inning number three. So we go to the fourth with your score. Cincinnati two, Milwaukee one. We're playing deep drive baseball. The link is in the description for this video. All right, so Harnish gets another point because he finished an inning. So it'll be Dimitri Young, Sean Casey, and Alex Ochoa coming up for the Reds in the fourth. The pitch to Young from right is a 14, and that's going to be a base hit to right field. Collecting that one is Jeremy Burnitz. Young is aboard. And Sean Casey comes up. Hmm... All right, not a lot of base-stealing acumen on these Reds here. Although, Dimitri Young had a lot of buffet-eating acumen. He didn't have a lot of base-stealing acumen, but that guy could do damage to a buffet like none other. All right, Sean Casey's up. He's 0 for 1, and the Brewer infield a double play depth. Right, the stretch and the delivery to Casey is a 55, and that's going to be a base hit. Now we'll check Young's... Uh, running a 55 is a single plus. Young is a slow runner. So, for a single plus, a slow runner can push it and try to go to third, and why not? Reds are going to play aggressively here. All right, so here we go. Get our roll for our choice chart. It's a 16, and he's going to make it to third. So there are reds at the corners now with nobody out in inning number four. All right. Casey at first, Young at third. Here comes Ochoa. Brewers are going to play for a double play. Here's the pitch from right to Ochoa, and that is going to be a deep drive, and that's not good news for the Brew Crew. Here's Ochoa. It's a 95, and that's to center and deep. That's going to be on the 
Miller Park ballpark card. We have an eight, and that's going to be caught by Hammonds. On the track, tagging is young. He will score, and it's 3-1 Reds. Casey holds at first base. There's one out now in the fourth. Here's Aaron Boone. Double play depth for the, depth for the Brewer infield. Right the stretch and the delivery. That's a 47. That's going to be in Boone's outrange, and that is hit hard to third base. Tyler Houston is going to glove it, and he's going to go to Belliard for one, and the relay to Sexton is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing, around-the-horn, 5-4-3 double play. So the Reds get a run, but it could have been worse. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and it is 3-1 Cincinnati. Wright gets... Another deduction for another inning pitched. Harnish now will face Burnitz, Hammonds, and Hernandez. The five, six, seven hitters in the Milwaukee lineup. Harnish kicks and deals. That's a 23 to Bernie, and hey, struck him out. He humped up on that fastball. And Hammonds comes up now. Brewers are 4-1 and one in their first five games. The pitch from Harnish is an 80 that's in his outrange the four is hit on the ground to larkin he cuts it off from going up the middle plants and throws to sean casey and there are two down in the milwaukee four jose hernandez now is one for one harnish kicks and deals that's a 36 for jose and we're gonna have our first defense check of the day and here's our chart for that. 93 is a right fielder fielding rating check. And that'll be Alex Ochoa. And he is a three. And a 93 is going to make the catch in right center. And that will retire Milwaukee in inning number four. It's feast or famine for this Brewers offense. We go to the, and so far it's been feast this season, but not today. Uh, it's 3 1 Cincinnati as we go to the top of the fifth. Wright is going to face Castro, LaRue, and Harnish. Harnish gets another deduction for finishing the inning. And Wright is facing Castro. The pitch from Jamie Wright to Juan Castro is a 27. That is in Castro's outrange. The seven is hit to left field, and coming in is Jeff Jenkins to make the catch for out number one. Jason LaRue now. Right, he homered in the third to provide the Reds the lead. The pitch from right to LaRue is going to be another deep drive. LaRue. It's it to the right center field gap. It's going to split Burnitz and Hammonds and go to the wall. LaRue, look at him digging. He's around second, heading to third. The relay from Ronnie Belliard to Tyler Houston is late, and LaRue is in, sliding with a triple. That's not good news for Milwaukee. So... We're going to get, well, no, no action yet. Harnish comes to the plate. Uh, he is an F batter. And so there is his, I'm going to play the infield in here. The pitch is a 90. That'll be in Harnish's outrange. He is not bunting. That is a G2S. Well, this will be interesting. Let's see how we handle this one. Uh, G2S with a runner on third is an H. And coming home is Jason LaRue. What in the world is he doing? But Blanco's got no play but to first. He fires to Saxon for the out. LaRue is going to score. And Harnish on a swinging bunt brings home the fourth Reds run of the day. We got two outs in the fifth now. 
Right facing Larkin, he kicks and deals. 74 is in. Hey, struck him out. The Illinois Quick Trots. Gas. That'll end the fifth. Four strikeouts now for Wright. The Reds get another run, however, on just one hit. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We're halfway through this one. Cincinnati nursing a 4-1 lead. It's Hernandez. I'm sorry. It's Blanco. Right. And then the top with Ronnie Belliard, 8-9-1 in the Brewers order. Pete Harnish kicks and deals. We got to add right a, a point for right for finishing the inning. 56 is going to be a deep drive for Henry Blanco. Did Henry get it? 73 is going to be extra bases to right field. It's going to get in that right center field gap and past Alex Ochoa. Blanco around first, heading to second. He's got a leadoff double, and they'll bring up right. Now it's tempting to pinch hit for him here, but I'm not going to do it. 194 hitter. He wasn't a disaster at the play. Let's see what happens. Harnish the stretch and the delivery. 92 is in. Harnish is outranged. The 8 is hit in the air to left. Under this one is Dimitri Young, and there's one down in the Brewer 5th. Now it's Belliard. Harnish the stretch, the pitch to Belly. Hey, struck him out on a bender, and that's number five for Harnish. The man with a 637 ERA is shutting down the brew crew today. Tyler Houston up now with two outs, and Blanco is still at second. Harnish the stretch and the delivery. It's a 74. It's a defense check. A defense check. And a 78. So it's to left field. Let's see Demetri Young's fielding rating. That is a 2. And Demetri Young makes the play. Boy, then you know it's not your day. Demetri Young makes the running catch, and that'll end the Brewer 5th. They get a leadoff double and can't even move him. We go to the 6th. With your score, Cincinnati 4, Milwaukee 1. It's Tucker, Young, and Casey coming in the Reds half of inning number 6. Harnish gets another deduction. He's pitching quite a ball game, given how bad his season went in 2001. He was a good pitcher, but he had a bad year. He must have gotten hurt. I don't know the Pete Harnish story. If you do, tell us in the comments. Uh, for this video. So Michael Tucker leads it off. Right kicks and deals. That is a 12. And that is ball four. Now he had some speed. And so we're going to try and send him. No adjustment on the hold for Jamie Wright. Henry Blanco, however. No adjustment for him either. Alrighty. So... That means Tucker is left to his own devices. He's working on that lead over there at first base. He is a 2C base stealer, so we got 2. We got C. He's going to be safe on a 1-14. to 14. He's going to be caught 15-19 to 19 and hold the rest of the way. And he's holding. All right, so here's Dimitri Young, Brewer infield at double plate up. The pitch from right to Young is a 22, and that's a defense check for Milwaukee. So we'll pull our defense chart. It's an 06, which is going to transfer us to the error chart, which is right here. And that's a 42. That is to Ronnie Belliard. Belliard is a 4. That's a G4S. And I know what you're saying. You're saying to me, Kurt, what on earth is a G4S? Well, that's a slowly hit ground ball uh, to Belliard at second. 
So we have a man at first. That's an E. Going to be an H. Batters out. Runners advance on the slow roller. So Michael Tucker is going to advance to second. Belliard makes the throw to Sexton at first. And there's one down in the red sixth. Here's Sean Casey. If I can get Jamie Wright through the sixth, I'll be a happy boy. The pitch from Wright to Casey is one for two. A 45 is in Casey's outrange. A one is a pop-up. Tyler Houston in fair territory is going to make the catch. And there are two down. Here's Alex Ochoa. He is 0 for 1. The pitch from right is a 16. He walked him. Not really what I was looking for there. Second walk of the inning for right. Two on with two outs for Aaron Boone. He's 0 for 2. Right the stretch. And the delivery is an 89. That's going to be in Wright's outrange, thankfully. It's hit on the ground to Richie Sexton. He gloves it to his right and feeds to Wright covering. No pun intended. And that will retire the Reds in the six. So they threaten but don't score. We go to the bottom of six with your score. Reds four, Brewers one. Jenkins, Sexton, and Burnett's coming up in the Brewer half of inning number six, the meat of the Milwaukee order. Good time to get back in the game here. Uh, let's go double check here that I'm up to date. I think I missed some. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a run is eight. So he's got eight points. Right as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a run should be nine. Okay. Now we're up to speed. Harnish nearing the end of the line. Jenkins leads it off here in the sixth. He's 0 for 1. The pitch is a deep drive for Jenks. And that's going to be extra bases. It's going to get over Michael Tucker's head and one hop the wall. Jenkins around first, heading to second with a leadoff double. The Brewers have done this dance before, but... Let's see if this one turns into runs. Harnish may be getting tired. So the Reds' bullpen is going to leap into action. And that will involve... Who will that involve? That's the question on America's mind. It's going to involve Jim Brower starting to throw, a right-hander in the Reds' bullpen. All right, Richie Sexton now. He's 0 for 2. Harnish the stretch and the delivery is a 70, and he walks him. Well, isn't that an interesting development? Because that's going to bring up Jeremy Burnitz as the potential tying run, and he had 34 bombs in the 0-1 season. Reds infield playing for two. Harness the stretch and the delivery to Bernie. That's a 58, and that's going to be a deep drive for Bernie. Get it. Get out of here. It is gone, and we got a tie game. A three-run jack for Jeremy Burnitz. Ties this one at four, and this Brewer club... They couldn't do much. They didn't have a lot of pitching. They didn't get on base very well, but they had thunder. It is a 4-4 ball game. And that's going to do it for Mr. Harnish. But I think they still got more out of him than they had any right to expect. Uh, we're going to get a double switch here. Jim Brower is going to take over. And bat in the fifth spot here in the bottom of the sixth. Alex Ochoa is done. You can stick a fork in him. And we're going to get a new right fielder hitting ninth for the Reds. And that's going to be... That's going to be Ruben Rivera. 
So Rivera will bat ninth and play right field in the bottom of the sixth. Brower bats fifth and takes over the pitching, so Brower and Rivera come in. Harnish and Ochoa go out, and the Brewers have nobody out here in the sixth. Brower's endurance is a three as a reliever. He is a right-hander in 19, I'm sorry, in 2001. He was seven and 10 with a 397 earned run average. 46 ball games. All right, Jeffrey Ammons is one for two. The pitch from Brower is a 38. That's going to be in Jeffrey's out range and a comebacker hit to Brower. He gloves it. Takes a few steps towards Sean Casey, and there's one down in the sixth. Jose Hernandez now. Brower kicks and deals. That's a 43, and that's going to be in Jose's outrange. A two is also a comebacker to Brower. He's getting him with the yacker, and here comes Henry Blanco. Jamie Wright would be next, the pitch to Henry is a ball four. <clears throat> so Henry trots down to first base. Wright is going to bat, and the Brewers are going to turn over the batting order here in the sixth. Brower the stretch, the pitch to Wright is in Jamie's out range. He lifts it in the air to left. Coming in is Dimitri Young, and he's going to make the catch for out number three. But Milwaukee Gets three runs on two hits, and they leave one. We go to the seventh, and we have decided nothing. The score is 4-4. Four, four. In the red seventh, now Brower, I believe, gets a deduction. He came in, but he allowed a base runner. He got out of the inning, but I think allowing a base runner... Uh, you get, as a reliever, plus one point for reliever who enters mid-inning and records a third out having faced two or fewer batters without allowing a base runner. Okay, he doesn't do that. So, he gets a point for finishing the inning. Okay, so now it'll be Castro, LaRue, and Rivera, our new right fielder, facing Jamie Wright. Castro's one for two. We're in the seventh. It's a 4-4 game. Got a good one going. Miller Park, brand spanking new. Wright kicks and deals as a 27. Outrange. That is grounded to Tyler Houston, who gloves it to his left. Cuts it off from going into left field and throws to Richie Sexton for out number one. Here comes Jason LaRue. He's two for two. He's homered and he's tripled in this ball game. Right. The wind and the delivery is a 17 and hey, struck him out. A bender from right and there's two down and that's strikeout number five for Jamie. Ruben Rivera with two outs and nobody aboard now. Right kicks and deals as a 22, and that's going to be strike three called. The bender buckled his knees, and that's going to retire the side in the seventh. It's time to stretch him out at Miller Park. With your score, Cincinnati four, Milwaukee four. Jimmy Brower coming out for inning number seven. He'll face the top of the Brewers' order. It's Belliard, Houston, and Jenkins in the bottom of the seventh. All right, so. Uh, in the Brewer bullpen, Chad Fox, who threw a wicked slider so wicked that he ruined his arm. Uh, is starting to warm up for the Milwaukee Brewers. 
And Belliard is leading off. He's 0 for 3. Brower kicks and deals. That's a 28. And that's going to be in Ronnie's outrange. Hit on the ground to Barry Larkin, who gloves it and throws to Sean Casey for out number one. Tyler Houston is up now. Tyler is one for three. Brower winds and delivers. That's a 28, and that is strike three swinging. Brower got him with the upstairs gas. First strikeout for Brower, and now it's Jenkins, one for two. Sparked the sixth inning rally that tied this game. Brower winds and delivers, and 94 is in Brower's outrange. That's hit to third. Aaron Boone gloves it and fires to Casey. And that retires the Brew Crew in inning number seven. We go to the eighth. Brower gets a point. And we're tied at four. Jamie Wright is going to start the inning. It's going to be Larkin, Tucker, and Young at the top of the Reds order here in the eighth. Wright is fatigue. So... He finished the inning. We gave him a point for that. He also got through the lineup the third time. We gave him a point for that. So he's got 11 endurance points. He is fatigued, which means that any old time it's on Wright's card and it would help the offense, you can subtract 50 points uh, from Wright. So in other words, let's say Wright gets a... I don't know. Let's say Wright gets a 69. And that would normally be a strikeout. But you can subtract 50 from that and get 19 because he's tired. Which on Larkin's card turns it into a walk. So that's the fatigue effect in... Now it doesn't always help the offense to subtract 50. But in that example it would. And that is the fatigue effect in deep drive baseball. All right, so here we go with Larkin. 4-4 four, four game, we're in the eighth. A 29 is in the out range for Larkin. It's lifted to left. Jenkins over by the line is going to make the catch for out number one. Michael Tucker now. Michael is 0 for 2. Jamie Wright kicks and deals. That is an 0-1, which is a deep drive. A deep drive on Tucker's card. It's a 38, and it's going to go for extra bases in right center field. Burnitz and Hammonds have to run it down, but Tucker's got wheels. He's heading for third, and he's got a triple. Here comes Davey Lopes, and that's going to do it for Jamie Wright. Chad Fox and his slider are going to come in the game. And Dimitri Young, the switch hitter, is going to be the batter. We'll tell you about Jamie Wright's evening. Uh, before we tell you about Chad Fox, Jamie Wright went seven and a third innings. He allowed six hits. He walked two batters. He struck out six. He allowed four runs to this point. They're all earned. He cannot win this game. Well, I, no, he cannot win this game. He could lose it. Or he could get a no decision. Chad Fox and his slider are on. He was a 30-year-old right-hander in 2001. He was 5-2 and two with a 189 earned run average. 65 games for Davey Lopes. Probably overused him. Uh, 66 innings and 80 strikeouts with a 1.2 whip. Brewer infield moves in to try and cut off this run at the plate. We got a 4-4 game. There's one out in the eighth. Dimitri Young, a 300 hitter for the Reds and their third place hitter, is at the play right now. Fox, the stretch, and the delivery to Young is a 20. Hey, struck him out on a bender. He got him with the slider, and there's two down. All right. Here comes Casey. Brower would be next. He's standing in the on-deck circle, but of course he's not going to bat if if Casey should reach and Tucker doesn't score. Fox the stretch and the delivery to Casey is a 74. Hey, struck out Casey on a bender. 
And that gets the Brewers out of the eighth inning. No runs on one hit. They get a one-out triple and strand him on a couple of strikeouts from Fox. We go to the bottom of the eighth with your score, Cincinnati 4, Milwaukee 4. Fox gets a point. Uh, he loses a point for finishing the inning, but he gets a point because he got him out of the inning with two or less batters. So he is strong to come out next inning. Meanwhile, Brower is out to face Sexton, Burnitz, and Hammonds, four, five, six hitters for Milwaukee in the eighth. We got a tie game. Sexton is 0 for 2. Jimmy Brower winds and deals to Sexton. That's going to be a 57. And a base hit for Richie Sexton to right field. He goes the other way. Rivera throws it back in, and Richie is aboard with a leadoff single. Here is Brunitz. Brower the stretch, the pitch to Bernie, who hit a three-run bomb in the sixth to tie the game. 81 is on Brower's outrange. This is hit hard to Larkin at short. Larkin goes to Castro for one, and the relay to Casey is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 6-4-3 double play turned by the Reds. And with two outs and nobody aboard, it's Jeffrey Hammond. Brower kicks and deals. It's a 97. It's in his outrange again. The seven is lifted in the air to right. Routine. For Ruben Rivera, and that will retire the Brewers in the eighth. We go to the ninth, and we've decided nothing. Reds four, Brewers four. And sure enough, Chad Fox is coming out to continue or try to continue his dealing. Brower went three innings of almost perfect baseball. He walked a man, he allowed a hit, he struck out a man. No runs crossed the plate. He held the fort, and that was his job. Danny Graves, the Reds' closer, is throwing in the uh, bullpen for Cincinnati. And... He is joined out there by a left-hander, because the Reds had a lot of them, Dennis Reyes. So it's lefty-righty, double-barreled action, just the way Jack McKeon liked it whenever he was in Brewtown. All right, so it's a pinch hitter coming on now for Brower. And that's going to be Wilton Guerrero. So Guerrero bats for Brower to lead off the ninth, and then we'll see Boone and Castro, maybe. All right, Fox, the stretch and the delivery. That is a 15, and a base hit for Wilton Guerrero. There's your go-ahead run. Aaron Boone comes to the plate. And I think it's bunt time for Mr. Boone. All righty. It's a 91. That's going to be in the out range. Yes, it is. So we're going to look at this table and roll a D10. That's a 7. Boone gets it down. It rolls to... Tyler Houston, who fires to Richie Sexton for the sacrifice put out. Guerrero advances to third with the potential, or to second, with the potential go-ahead run, and here's Juan Castro, and they're calling him back to the bench. So that's it for Juan Castro. He's got a one-for-three night. And Adam Dunn is going to pinch hit a very young Adam Dunn. But a powerful one at that. 
Adam Dunn in 2001 had 66 games. He had 19 homers and a 262 average with a 371 on base average. Now, the Brewers have first base open, but Jason LaRue is on deck with a two-for-three night cooking. So, we'll see what they do. Fox, the stretch, he checks Guerrero at second. The pitch home to Dunn. He's a 43. They're not walking him. And it's hit on the ground to third. Tyler Houston checks Guerrero at second and fires to Sexton at first for out number two. That's going to bring up Jason LaRue. Ruben Rivera would be next. LaRue is two for three. Fox the stretch. The delivery is a 75 and hey, struck him out. The fans are pumped up at Miller Park. We go to the bottom of the ninth with your score. Reds four, Brewers four. Any old kind of a run is going to win it for Milwaukee. All right, so a couple of changes here as we do some bookkeeping. Wilton Guerrero is going to go in and play second base. I think you probably saw that clever move coming. And Danny Graves is going to take over on the mound for the Reds and try and take it into extra innings. Adam Dunn is no more in this ballgame. So Danny Graves is on. In 2001, he was 27 years old, 6 and 5 with a 415 ERA. 66 games, 32 saves. And so he was their closer. He can go two innings uh, if it's a closing situation. I think if it's not a closing situation, well, actually, I don't know. Would that be right? Let's take a look and consult the... Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't really tell us. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, that doesn't apply. All right, so he's got a two. Here we go. Hernandez. Blanco or a pinch hitter, and Fox or a pinch hitter. Brewers need a run to walk this thing off. Graves wines and deals. That's a 99, which is going to be on Danny Graves' out column. A zero is a line drive caught by Aaron Boone at third. One down in the bottom of the ninth. Now, Blanco's had a good night. He's got a sacrifice fly. He's got a double. He's got a walk, but I'm not letting him bat. It's going to be Devon White. Batting for Henry. So, Blanco's night is done. Moving out into the on-deck circle to bat for Chad Fox is Mark Sweeney. Pinch hitter deluxe for this ball club. So it's a lefty, lefty, and then Belliard, if anybody should reach. One out, nobody on. The pitch to White is a 21, and hey, struck him out. Two gone in the ninth. And we're staring extra innings in the face unless Mark Sweeney can come through. Graves wines and deals. The 33, it's a defense check. So we pull out our defense chart. It's a 37, which is going to put us on the error charts. And 01 is a one base error on Sean Casey. Sweeney makes it down to first. And with two outs, we're still aboard, we're still alive in the ninth, and here's Belliard. Now we could run 
for Sweeney here. And I think we're going to. We're going to use Lou Collier, who is our pinch runner. I should put this down here. So Sweeney pinch hits in the ninth. Collier runs for him with two outs. Probably not a brilliant personnel move, but we're doing it anyway. There is your scorebook. Sweeney pinch hitting, Collier pinch running at first. If Belliard gets one in the gap, Collier can try and score. Graves, the stretch. He checks Collier at first. Maybe I should send him. He's a 2A. I think I might. A 2A is safe on a 1-16. to 16. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Let's check the hold ratings. It's a 0 here. And for LaRue, it is a... Minus one. So that makes him a 1A. That means that he's safe uh, zero to seven. Yeah, we'll try it. Why not? Here we go. Belliard takes the first pitch. Here goes Collier. And no, he doesn't get a jump. Strike one to Belly. Ronnie's got an 0 for 4 day cooking. The pitch from Graves. Is a 33 that's in the out range. Ground ball Larkin. He's going to go the short way to Guerrero at second base, and we're going to have an extra inning ball game today. Reds four, Brewers four, and we're going to the 10th. Your new pitcher for Milwaukee. Huh. Who will be the new pitcher for Milwaukee? That's the question on America's mind. We need a new, new we need a new catcher as well. So that's going to be Raul Casanova. And the new pitcher is going to be Kurt Laskanik, the closer for the Brewers. Taking over in the 10th. He will bat 9th. Casanova will bat 8th. And Devon White is no more in this ballgame. So I think we've got our bookkeeping taken care of. Fox is done after an inning and two thirds. He allows a hit and strikes out three, but doesn't allow any runs to cross the pay station. It's a 4 4 game. Here comes Ruben Rivera. Laskanik has an endurance inning or endurance of one. Pitch to Rivera is an 0 9, and that's a base hit. There's your potential go ahead run for the Reds, and it'll bring up Larkin. I don't think Barry Larkin bunts in this situation, so I'm not going to have him do it. Uh, a 2C for Rivera. Laskanik is a 0 on the hold. And let's check Casanova's throwing. He's a plus 1, so that makes him a 3C. Yeah, they're going to try it. All right, so Larkin is going to take the first pitch. A 3C, he's safe, 1-17. to 17. Nope, he can't get a jump. Here comes Larkin now. The pitch from Laskanik to Larkin. Barry is 0 for 4. The pitch is a 0-5, and that's trouble. Base hit to center field for Larkin. And an 05 is a single plus. Ruben Rivera's running is neutral. He can try and go to third, but he's not going to. He puts on the brakes at second. There's two on for the Reds with nobody out and Michael Tucker. Coming to the plate. 
All right, so now it's bunt time. Now it's time to lay down a bunt for Cincinnati, or if you're Milo Hamilton, about half the time, Cincinnati. And here's the pitch to Tucker. 23 is going to be a strikeout. And what happens then? He's got two strikes. So I'm going to take the bunt off at this point. Rivera at second, Larkin at first, nobody out in the 10th. Pitch to Tucker is an 89. That's in Laskanik's out range. That's hit to center, but not deep. Coming in is Hammonds. Holding is Rivera, and there's one down. Here's the ever-dangerous Dimitri Young. He is one for four. Sean Casey is on deck. Laskanik the stretch, the pitch to Young is a 48 that's in Young's out range, and that's hit hard to Hernandez at short. He goes to Belliard for one, and the relay to Sexton is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 6-4-3 double play that turns the Reds away in the 10th. We go to the bottom of 10 with your score, Reds 4, Brewers 4. We got a good one here. Houston, Jenkins, and Sexton coming up in the Brewers 10th. Danny Graves out for inning number two. Houston is one for four. Graves wines and deals. 59 is a base hit for Houston. There's your winning run, and Jeff Jenkins comes to the plate. There is no action in the Cincinnati bullpen. It's all on Danny Graves. Jenkins is one for three. All right, no bunting, absolutely not. Tyler Houston is at first base. And there are two men left on the Milwaukee bench, Mark Loretta and Louis Lopez. Love them both, don't get me wrong, but neither one quick enough to run faster than Tyler Houston. So it's up to Jenkins. Nobody out. Sexton on deck. Graves the stretch. Checks Houston at first. And the pitch home to Jeff is a 13. And it's ball four. He walks you. Well, that's big because now Sexton comes up. And, and they got a pitch to him. Burnitz is on deck. This is that part of the Brewers order that can kill you. All right. Graves the stretch. Sexton, 45 bombs, a 271 average, and a 342 on base average. Graves the stretch and the pitch to Richie. A 56 is a single plus. All right, so now we look at the advancement chart. Houston can advance. It's a base hit for Sexton. But no, they're going to stop Houston at third. The bases are loaded with nobody out in the bottom of the 10th. And here comes Burnett's with nowhere to put him. All right. So the infield is coming in. And the outfield is coming in, so we have some adjustments to make. Should the need be. Everybody's in at little league depth. Burnitz is at the plate. Graves, the stretch, the pitch to Bernie. 76 is in the out range. Nine is an F8. That is hit to center. All right, on third is Houston. The center fielder is Michael Tucker. Tucker makes the catch. Houston is tagging. The throw home to Jason LaRue is not in time, and the Brewers walk it off on a sacrifice fly. All 
Uh, yeah. To Michael Tucker and Danny Graves takes the loss in this one in the bottom of the 10th. Let's give you the totals. A walk-off winner for the Brewers who are now five and one on this young season. Boy, is that going to come around to bite me. For the victorious 2001 Brewers, five runs, six, eight, nine hits. And they committed no errors. The Reds, four runs, two, four, six, eight, nine hits of their own. And they committed one error. The winning pitcher is Kurt Laskanik. The losing pitcher is Danny Graves. And we're going to call the MVP of this game Jeremy Burnett. He had four RBIs. I know it's a counting stat. But I like RBIs. I'm one of the few people left on the planet that still likes RBIs. He was one for four, the three-run homer to tie the game, and then he hit the sacrifice fly to win the game. So Burnett's gets the MVP of today's game. This is deep drive baseball. I had a great time playing this today. And I'm going to put the link in the description for this video. Also, in the description for this video will be the link to find out more about channel membership. Uh, discounts on the secondary store, exclusive members-only videos, and a free PDF gift from me every month just for being a member. Thanks for being with me. Had fun with Deep Drive tonight. Have a good evening. So long, everybody.